What's going on, everybody? Everyone hates Tesla. And today, it's going to be very interesting. I think we're kind of going to the left, or is it to the right with this one? No, this is to the left. With this one, everybody's talking about it. The woke mind virus. Elon recently had a one-on-one -on -one with Jordan Peterson. Oh, no. A psychiatrist. Your therapist needs a therapist type people, right? <laughs> Has nothing to do with engineering. We're about to go in the la-la land, guys. We're about to go into the mind space of a man's mind thinking about stuff. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's see what they're talking about on this one. Saber is dead. Killed by the woke mind virus. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I can't imagine what that would be like. One of the things that you've been relatively vocal about, and I understand that there's a personal connection to this as well. So I am, for what it's worth, uh, I'm particularly unhappy with my what my colleagues in the psychological field have done with regards to gender affirming care. Right. I think they are a pack of contemptible cowards. Yes. And I think that everyone who's been involved in this in relationship to minors should go to prison. I agree. Okay, okay. Why do you agree? What like what Well, see see they're already starting and getting kind of crazy sending people to prison. I don't know if you can send people to prison unless you know are able to convict them beyond the reason of doubt, and it's an until proven guilty. I don't know what evidence Jordan Peterson has that's making this claim, or if he's just talking and kind of just being a little bit of extra with it. But let's see. What what what's your oar in the water in this particular? This is the worst medical and psychological malpractice I've ever seen anywhere, including what I've done, what I've studied in reference to historical atrocity, eugenics. Um, what do you call those prefrontal lobotomy, even the sorts of things that were going on in Nazi Germany. It's worse than eugenics. All right, let's go. At least the bloody Nazis knew it was wrong and tried to hide it. Yes. So, okay, so what, what's your, what's your, why are you engaged in this particular battle? I mean, you, you said you're going to move a couple of your company headquarters out of California because of the last legislative move that Gavin Newsom pulled with regards to the trans issue. So, yes, I mean, there, to be clear, it was, there, there were many things leading up to that point. Yes. Um, I just, and, and I just feel like, look, it's, it's not that it's the one straw, it's just the final straw. Yeah, uh, okay, okay, uh, okay. So it's you know, a cumulative issue. Fair it's enough. It's a fair cumulative enough, issue. Right. right. Um, so it's not dramatic grandstanding. It's No, and, and moreover, I've had conversations with Gavin Newsom before where I said, if you, if you pass legislation like this, if you sign legislation like this, um, that in my view, puts uh, children in danger, um, I will move my companies out of California. And, he knew that ahead of time. Okay, and so, okay, you've talked to him directly about this. What the hell is he doing? Like, I cannot understand. I really cannot understand. I mean, the Democrats- He's, he's pandering to the far left. Why did the Democrat moderates constantly pander to the far left? What, I worked with the Democrats in California for five years, trying to get them to separate themselves from the far left. They wouldn't admit that they existed even, mm -hmm. and they certainly would never separate them. Never. They wouldn't admit, for example, that Antifa even existed. Sure. You know, and well, so burning down there's, buildings. This, there's this unbelievable blind spot with regards to the far left radicals. And the moderate Democrats are, I think they're useful idiots fundamentally. So, yeah, well, I, I think a lot of people kind of ignore their extremes of any given political party. You know, they don't want to talk about it. And they're going to say it's a minority, not the majority. majority. So, you know, I don't know, but let's continue. They're all over the place, you know. <laughs> Where are we going, guys? Where are we going with this? But I do understand, again, a lot of opinions that Elon holds, a lot of people like this to kind of affect what they feel about Tesla. And, and for me, it's like, you know, he's a grown man. He's an adult. He has his own opinions. He's allowed to in our country. I don't know what country you guys are tuning in from. But net net, he has his own opinions about certain things, and hey, have at it, you know. But next time, hey, don't do these interviews inside the Tesla factory. Take this into the, you know, you know, go to a bunker with the aluminum foil over your head and have these conversations about the conspiracy of the left. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I mean, going back to the um, the so-called gender affirming care, which is um, a terrible euphemism. That's for sure. Uh, it's. Um, it's, it's really a child sterilization is what it should be. No, it, there's mutilation too. Mutilation. Right. Yeah, well, we want to make sure that that amalgam is... Sure, sure, fair is, enough. Yeah, it, yeah, it's, yeah. it's child mutilation and sterilization. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, under the guise of gender affirming care and compassion. Right. Right, right. I can't... I, it's, it's evil. I literally can't I imagine evil. anything worse than that. Yes, it's evil. Um, I mean, you're taking kids who are obviously often far below the age of consent. Yep, um, confused, miserable. Yes, the reality is that... Um, Almost every child goes through some kind of identity crisis. Um, yeah, it's you know, part they, of puberty. Exactly, it's just part of growing up. Um, if, if so, it's, it's very possible for 
manip for, for adults to manipulate children into who ha are having a, a natural identity crisis into believing that they are the wrong gender. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that, yeah, absolutely. And that, and, and, and that, and that they need to be uh, uh, the other gender, or you need, they need to be a boy, or boy needs to be a girl. Or, you know, and and. Oh well, yeah, most definitely, right? Especially, no disrespect, but a lot of parents, the mothers, definitely just fall victim. Not even victim; they're complicit in stuff like this. But what I would say is, even me when I was growing up, you know, they hit me with ADHD. Look, guys, there's no test that they could take to determine if I had ADHD. It was strictly from someone's perspective about what they thought about me. And also, it was the teachers that actually said it. Right? It wasn't no psychiatrist or psychologist who sat down with me. That wasn't the step number one. Step number one was the teacher saying, I think he has ADHD. And then after that, somebody else saying, yeah, he probably does. And then I had to go see the psychiatrist or psychologist. I think it was the psychologist to make the examination. And then after the examination, they said I had ADHD. After that, for a long period of time, I thought I was just stupid, dumb, ignorant. When it came to education and learning, I just had an actual medical problem. I didn't know the difference between what was a psychiatrist and a psychologist especially when I was young, shoot, I was just living like, right? Uh, now, something as serious as gender and, that, man, that's really complicated versus my ADHD. That was more of a mental thing. And of course, I didn't know the difference between, is it a mental problem? Is there something wrong with my biology? Is it, you know, like something wrong with me? What kind of blood test did you guys conduct? to say that I have this problem with my brain where I have this, you know, let's say hyper disorder where I can't control myself. So, you know, at, after a while, I just went with it. Right? I almost forgot, too, that I was good in school. Like I completely washed that away. I didn't remember anything. And that's like one of the biggest points I remember from my childhood is going to the psychiatrist and psychologist and actually getting that examination and being diagnosed with the ADHD and running away from the, <laughs> the nurses that wanted to give me the Ritalin, you know, because after that, they gave me prescriptions. So I had to be called to the front office. I think I was taking it in the morning and in the lunchtime. And they used to call us on intercom. It was like me and another guy in the whole school. And they would like chase us down and try to find us so they could give us on, you know, give us the medicine. And so after I took the medicine, I was a zombie. But you know, even after I got off the medication, after I like continued to revolt and protest about it, people still wanted to put me on it. It was the teachers, complicit principals, guidance counselors, like everybody was a part of the plot. <laughs> so I could only imagine how this is given, you know, the type of environment that you find yourself in, meaning the school and the state and et cetera. And that the and that will solve all their problems. And that will solve their problems. And uh, and, and then they uh, give them sterilizing drugs, uh, which are called also a misnomer, pu puberty blocker. Uh, these are sterilization drugs, uh, so they can never have children again. Yeah. Um, they uh, have mas double mastectomies, uh, mutilation. Yeah, their forearms stripped to build non-functioning penises. <sighs> yeah, um, it's macabre. Um, and um, I mean, we we have an age of consent for a reason. Hmm. That the reason um, you can't get say tattoos below age 18, or um, drink, or drive, you know, there's, there's, there are ages at which you can do things, because uh, if we allow children to, to, to take permanent actions uh, when they're um, 10, 12, 14 years old, they, they, they will do things that they subsequently greatly regret. Yes, I've interviewed a couple of people who've done exactly that, and it's pretty right. damn painful. So, all right, so you interviewed a couple of people, but I don't think you interviewed enough. Now, see, that's very interesting. Like, again, I don't have any dog in a fight. I definitely think that uh, people will have a conversation. I don't think nobody needs to be sent to jail as of right now, you know, unlike they they say. But I think it's something that everybody's figuring out. But as you can see, and as we'll find in this article, it's a very small percentage of the population. And when we scroll down, it's around... Transgender adults make up less than 2% of the U.S. population, with about 5% of young adults identifying as transgender or non-binary. So it's a very small portion. I don't think anybody needs to be sent to jail, especially since a lot of people are figuring it out. 
maybe there's some criminal activity or something that could be perceived as that. But I don't know. I'm not quite sure. It's not easy to make that judgment call just because I talked to a couple of people like Jordan Peterson said. And then Tesla CEO Elon Musk has said his estranged transgender daughter was, quote unquote, be bleeped by the woke mind virus after he was tricked into agreeing to gender affirming care procedures. In an interview with psychologist and the therapist that needs a therapist and conservative commentator Jordan Peterson, the ex-owner called transgender or gender reassignment surgery, child mutilation and sterilization. He then discussed his 20 year old child, Wilson, and who he said underwent the procedure during the pandemic. Quote, I was essentially tricked into signing documents for one of my older boys, end quote, must told Peterson in a Daily Wire interview. And this was on X. Now, quote, this was really before I had any understanding of what was going on. And we had COVID going on. So there was a lot of confusion. And I was told my child might commit, bloop, end quote. So. I guess he was told some things. He wasn't able to conduct some due diligence himself, and he signed the documentation. The SpaceX founder claimed, why do you got to bring all his business in there? <laughs> like you said, the X founder announced the SpaceX. Like, come on, man. <laughs> now, he claimed the process is done to children, quote, who are far below the age of consent, end quote, and said he agreed with Peterson belief that anyone who promotes the practice should go to prison. See, that's kind of extreme. But anyways, quote, I was tricked into this, end quote, must said, quote, I lost my son, essentially. They call it the dead naming for a reason. The reason they call it dead naming is because your son is D, end quote. Now, we're going to keep moving on. But he did say this. I vowed to destroy the woke mind virus after that, end quote, must said. And we're making some progress. That was also something he said. So allegedly, all this stuff happened. People are riled up. You see it all over X. And I'm pretty sure the interview was almost two hours. So there was a lot of other good things to talk about. Hopefully, we can focus on those. Those are the personal opinions of Elon Musk. What I have to say about it, I have no you know, horse in that race. Um, let men do whatever they want. I have no children. Again, I have no horse in the race. It's about around 5 to 5% 5 of the young adult population that's grappling with this and about 2%. So I think that possibly the landscape is pretty complicated. We don't know how to deal with it. People are coming up with ways to deal with it. And as it says, Musk called woke mind virus the threat to modern civilization. But I think one of the parts I want to highlight that this also article said is... And I want to go down a little bit because gender affirming care is valid science backed method. This is what the article is saying now. Gender affirming care is valid science backed methods of medicine that saves lives for people who require care while navigating their gender identity. Gender affirming care can range from talk or hormone therapy to surgical intervention. So there's a levels to it. And there's different types of treatments, right, from talking, hormone therapy to surgical intervention. And some experts claim that gender affirming care should be viewed like other forms of medicine where methods of treatment can be debated and discussed rather than the validity of its need. So there we go. That's what they're saying. And here we go. And any so, quote, someone said now, Dr. Lopez said this, quote, in any medical field, we're continuously improving the care, changing the care, developing new guidelines, developing research. So that's where they're at with it. So I think that it's still developing as not only just I think, but as Dr. Lopez has just said in that quote, allegedly. And so therefore, it's hard to figure out. Hopefully we can comb through the interview and get some other things. But I know a lot of people were talking about that on X and everything else. And oh, my gosh, he said that. And, oh, the cyber truck shouldn't be on Fortnite because he said this about, look, look, guys. All right, at the end of the day, that's that man's personal opinion. Same thing with Jordan Peterson. Elon Musk keep doing great at Tesla and SpaceX as far as everything else and his freedom of speech and his ways to believe and his reasons for, you know, fighting against the woke mind virus. That's that man's agenda. Me, I went to combat, fought for, fought for freedom of speech. 
fought for the country, Stars and Stripes, combat veteran for the United States of America. That's what I did. That's how I took the fight somewhere. You know, other people have different fights for whatever specific reasons. So shout outs to them. They're free. They can do whatever they want. Everyone hates Tesla. Please don't hate Tesla. That's just Elon Musk, personal opinion. He's allowed to have them. That's what happens when you live in the USA. See you guys on the next one. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell when you guys need to get this information.